Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. We are starting off the day in my car, obviously. Wait, I wonder if the lighting will be better if I do this. Oh, no, it won't because I'm in my parking garage right now and there's no sunlight. <laughs> there's no sunlight up there, so why would it have more sunlight? Anyways, welcome to my channel. Today, we're starting off the vlog by running some errands. So I have to go to two different post offices because number one, I need to go to UPS to drop off an Amazon return because this one, it only lets me return it from UPS. And then I need to go to USPS, which is a completely different post office to drop off a to-do list order. That is what we are up to today. Day. I need to map myself to UPS. I don't really ever go to UPS because I'm always at USPS for the to-do list orders. I don't know if anyone cares. I don't even think I care, so I don't know why I'm saying it. Interesting. That can't be right. Anyways, that is what we are starting with on this lovely, lovely Monday. So many people out today. Wait, I'm gonna open this again. Let's see if this will work this time. It's a little sunny out. I closed it because it was like kind of beaming in my eyes. But there are so many people out today. Like the traffic is crazy. There's so many people like waiting outside for like reservations for a restaurant. And I'm like, it's a Monday. Do people not have jobs? But then I'm also like, I'm also out on a Monday. I'm running errands. I'm also out. Like, can I really complain? <laughs> not me being a hypocrite. Anyways, now we're gonna go back home and start working. I've been doing like some computer stuff in the morning. Typically before before I start my vlog, I like to just get like a lot of emails and computer stuff out of the way. There's something so satisfying about like a cleared out email inbox in my opinion. Like it's one of those things that really, it does something for me, you know? Just my personality. I'm not someone who can have a bunch of unopened text messages. Like, do you know the people that like their text message thing? It's like 1,000 text messages unopened. I'm not one of those people. Couldn't be me. I see a text message, I open it. I may not respond within the moment, but I will tell you, I am someone who immediately like, I can't, I can't stand notifications. They drive me insane. But that's totally random and beside the point but yeah I'm not a notification girly I'm not I have all my notifications on my phone turned off and if I do have one I need to click on it immediately okay but now we go home <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of traffic though because there's always construction here I don't know if it's like this where you guys live 365 days of the year there's construction without a doubt mm -mm 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 -mm. oh my gosh I just realized next year is gonna be a leap year but it feels like it was just leap year yesterday but that was three years ago oh my gosh wait that's insane time is really flying by the fact that it's 2023 is blowing my mind like i still feel like it's 2021 i don't know sometimes i just like think these random thoughts and then i'm just like whoa like i can't like move away from it do you ever think something and you're like now that's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day i don't know i'm like get out of my mind leap year <laughs> oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited these are merch I think by the time this video is up, this is already launched. I think it might be over. Like it, the pre-order may be unavailable. A lot of you guys requested that I make the sunset. If you guys remember my merch, it says, I think of you when I watch the sunset. And it was a crew neck. And a lot of people were like, I would love to see that in a t-shirt. <gasps> These are so soft. Oh my gosh, you guys. They sent me the Heather Gray. So cute. And then the white. Love love okay i'm gonna put it on oh my gosh love i got a large because i wanted it to be a little oversized so freaking cute oh my gosh and then like imagine this with like some oh well, obviously not over a dress but like with some biker shorts or leggings or something so freaking cute i'm so happy these are such good quality and so soft it's a little bit thinner of a material but i honestly kind of like that because summer's coming up so i feel like it's very nice oh i love yeah and then I finally have it in gray because I don't have the gray crew neck. I only have the white one because the gray was a very last minute decision. Less than a week out from, oh my, you can really see my sunburn in this <laughs> lighting. But less than a week out from when we launched the original merch, I was like, can we add gray to it? <laughs> Sorry, water break. But I'm so happy with these, so I need to take photos of me in them. These would also be really cute to like crop. Love, I'm so happy with these. And then, pretty sure this is the pair of shorts that I ordered on Poshmark three times by accident. This smells weird. Yeah, it is. I accidentally, why are they wet? I accidentally, well, this wasn't an accident. I bitted on three different pairs of shorts that were the exact same pair of shorts. I just wanted to see like whoever would give them to me first. And then they all went through when I was asleep so I couldn't cancel any of the orders. Not my smartest move, but it is what it is. So I might just sell these again, but these are my favorite pair of shorts. They smell, I'm gonna have to wash them. They smell a little, a little funky. I'm so happy. Okay, now we're gonna get back to working. Woo! I 
changed into the Heather, wait, I need to pop my neck. Okay, just kidding, it's not popping, but I changed into the Heather Gray shirt because I wanted to see if it was like comfortable and soft. It's so comfortable. It's a very lightweight shirt, which I actually really like. Very breathable, and I'm like very comfortable in it. For the past way too long, I've been working on creating a post for this app. It's called Lemon 8, Lemon, and then the number eight. It's this new app. I've seen it all over TikTok, and I was like, I want to download it, see what it's about, and it's so cute. It's kind of a oh, cute play. Sorry. It's kind of a mixture between Pinterest and Instagram. Like my home feed, this is like a little example, of like my For You page. I really haven't used it that much, but I made two posts. I did one a Sunday reset, and then I did one like, hello, nice to meet you post. And I really like it so far. It took me a really long time because obviously I'm new to this app and I'm trying to figure out how to like do all the graphics. Like this is my like hello intro post. It's so, like all these things. I don't know. It took me a while to figure it out, but it was decently user friendly. And it's kind of cute. Like people almost write like little like blog posts at the bottom of the post. So I think it's really cute. I want to use it more, but it did take me a minute to figure it out. Also, this is this little like Aquaphor giant stick. It's like a giant glue stick. Anybody watch my videos when I used to have like, not an obsession, but like I would always talk about the purple glue stick. Has anyone been around for that long? Cause that, that is a while long yeah so i just did that and now i need to get back to editing i was having fun with that app like it's just fun to have like a different kind of creative platform because i feel like sometimes you get like so much in like a routine of like doing youtube or doing tiktok or doing instagram that it's fun to switch it up that is what i've been doing but now we need to get back to instagram not be back at all what i'm gonna start that over <laughs> we're gonna get back to editing my video. What else do I have on my to-do list today? Yeah, okay. Well, that seems like what's going on here. <laughs> I don't know. I just really like this shirt a lot. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time I've been editing and now I'm going to make lunch because I'm starving this day has really gotten away from me I don't know if it's because I ran those errands in the morning But I just feel like this day is going by so freaking fast Also, it probably was because I spent so much time working on those little posts for lemonade. I did another one I did like one for my April goals. It's almost like a blog, which I think is kind of fun because I've been wanting to make a blog But I don't know how to make a blog, but I'm making a wrap and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm making and how I'm making it. Wait, I need one more gradient. First, we're gonna start with heating up our tortilla. I like to do it for like 20 seconds. My sunburn is increasingly getting worse. Do you guys wanna see my party trick? It's a smiley, I can't really see it. It's a smiley face. <laughs> I love doing that. I can do that even when I'm not sunburned. Position your fingers like that and then smiley face hat. This is a smoked salmon wrap. I saw this on TikTok. I didn't save the recipe, so I don't know who made it, and I would love to give them credit, but I didn't save it. So if anyone knows who made this, let me know, and I'll tag them or whatever. Starting off with avocado. These are the Trader Joe's, like, to-go avocado to-go. I don't know. It's basically just always making sure you have fresh avocado on hand, because avocados go bad in the blink of an eye. Some healthy fats on this. Spreading it around. Okay, next up, I'm gonna add dill. I'm gonna add it in the avocado because I feel like before I used to add it at the very end and I feel like it might be good like embedded in the avocado if that makes any sense. I don't know. I've really been into dill recently. I'm gonna do like two little stems. I don't know. I'm not a professional chef. So everything I say, take with a grain of salt. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I just enjoy doing it. And if I do it wrong, then I do it wrong. I don't know. I think dill is like kind of pretty. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. Now we're gonna add some smoked salmon locks. So I will say I do like this wrap but i feel like it's kind of expensive so this like smoked salmon the nova salmon from trader joe's this was ten dollars and it made three servings of this so i had it for lunch and dinner yesterday and now i'm having it for lunch today and it's gone so i do like two and a half pieces of the salmon i don't know i just think it's kind of expensive and i don't know if it's like really worth your money at this point i think this is a good wrap i just think it's on the pricier side I thought that it would get me a lot longer than three servings. And I mean, the salmon in the servings is not even a lot. Like the salmon is not an overwhelming flavor. Okay, next up, I'm going to take these Persian cucumbers and I'm going to slice them horizontally. If you have like, what's it called? A mandolin or something like that. Or even like a peeler. I don't even own a peeler. But I'm going to cut this in half to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm just slicing them. Is it called lengthwise? I've been out of school for a while, guys. Don't judge me. But try to make it as thin as possible. This gives a nice little crunch. You don't want it to be too crunchy. Ooh. I think a peeler would work very nicely for this. Be careful not to cut yourself. Not that I have, but I do feel like it is very possible for me to do that considering it is me. I also think this 
actually be good with like cream cheese because it's kind of like almost like a bagel-esque if you add some everything with the bagel seasoning. You want me trying to turn everything into a bagel. Okay, just setting those cucumbers down. I'm gonna eat some. I love a cucumber. Totally optional, but if you guys remember, I pickled some red onions. I'm just trying to get rid of these things. I've had them for a while. I don't even know if they're still considered fresh. I'm gonna add a lot. It adds a little bit of sweetness to the wrap, which I like. Okay, can you see that? It's very pretty. I think pickled red onions are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love a pickled red onion. Yum, yum, yum. Almost last, second to last, arugula, any kind of greens. I just had arugula on hand. And then I like the acidity of the lemon because I feel like it kind of makes the pickled red onions not too sweet. So I'm just gonna do some lemon juice on this and then you're gonna wrap it and wrapping it is a little intimidating i have to admit because there's a lot of arugula it's basically a salad i feel like i've gotten so much better at wrapping things though and this is it you're gonna cut it in half oh it's beautiful stunning this is it this is it i'm gonna take a photo of it though oh well, i don't know if i can take a photo of it because the wrap is busting at the seams some pretty flowers in the shot eh? okay ready for a little tasty test i'm gonna try to get a corner with everything in it it's so good. Kind of expensive. I don't know if I make this again just because the lox is expensive, but I would make this again, maybe with like chicken or something, maybe a more affordable protein, but it's so good. This just feels like summer. I can't explain it. Mm. Do you know one of those like kind of quirky, maybe hipster cafe lunch healthy places that like has like wraps and salads and sandwiches that's kind of more health focused? I feel like this wrap would be in one of those restaurants or like kind of cafe thing. I feel like this would be one of those because it's like kind of different. It's really good. Lots of flavor. Honestly, when I'm looking at the viewfinder, all I'm seeing is my sunburn. Also, I don't know if you can see it on camera as much, but you can see the like burn. It'd be a tan line, but it's a burn line. Of my head shadowing my chest and my neck when I was reading my book and then you can also kind of see we well, can't really see it on the viewfinder but you can also see like where the book was <laughs> like covering from the sun anyways that's a side note in my lobster era <laughs> just kidding Okay, you guys, I think I have great news. I'm not 100% certain about it, but I think I have good news. So I thought that my credit card was either lost or stolen because it's not in my wallet. I have no idea where it was. Last time I remember having it, using it was at an ice cream shop with my friend last week on Wednesday of last week. So it's been almost a week and I haven't been able to find it since and I've brought in my purse to other places I thought for a while my purse spilled everywhere under my seat under my passenger seat in my car So I was like, oh, maybe it's there spent 20 minutes couldn't find it And so I was editing this video and I was looking back on the footage of when I went to go get ice cream with my friend And I think that I never got my debit card back from getting ice cream because look at this Okay, here is us getting ice cream, right? So I'm pulling up to the window. There's only one window of this ice cream place This is me giving him my card then he hands me the ice cream, right? Then I get my, did I get my thing there? I don't know. And then he hands me my ice cream and then I drive away. They never give me my card back. So I'm wondering if Dairy Queen still has my debit card or I guess it's my credit card. So I might go back there later today and be like, hi, I might've left my card here. Did you have a card on file and lost and found? I don't know, but I've been like freaking out that I thought that I got stolen. I haven't had any like fraud charges, which is good. That's like the only place that I think it could be. I'm gonna be a little embarrassed if I go there and it's not there, but I think it should be fine. But I'm gonna go back to editing this video Video, but that made me so happy because I've been stressing all weekend about where my card could be because I thought that I got it back But apparently I didn't <laughs> We are going to Dairy Queen <laughs> to try to see if my credit card is there I'm a little anxious because I'm afraid that number one it's going to be there and I'm going to embarrass myself because I'm like, hey, I left this here for almost a week. Or number two, it's not going to be there and they're going to be like, no. But either way, I keep telling myself, I need my credit card. And I thought that while I was out, I could just return this backdrop that I got that I realized that I'm not going to use to Amazon because it's like in that direction. It's like a little further than where Dairy Queen is, but it's in that direction and I need to do it. So I was like, why not just do it now? So I finished editing my video. Woo! So that is the plan for today. Or not today, for right now. I'm just like feeling anxious. I don't know why. I really hope it's there. Great news. It was in there. I actually wasn't embarrassed at all. <laughs> like I was joking around with the girl and I think she said something. I was like, oh, like I think I might have like left my credit card here. And like the manager went to the back to go look for it. And, and like they're like lost and found. And one of the workers was like, oh, I have it. And I was like, ha ha ha, like in your wallet. And she's like, yeah, thanks for the birthday present. And I'm like, anytime. Like we were like joking around about it. No need to fear. No need for the anxiety. I always have. Now we're going to go. I really don't want to go to drop this off and return it. I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to wait. I still 
still have like a month to return this. I just don't feel like it. I probably just will keep it in my car. <laughs> I just don't feel like it's a little further out of the way. And it's like the start of rush hour. So it's just, it's not the time for it. Time and place, time and place. But I'm so happy I have my credit card back. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I was like so stressed that it got stolen couple of Amazon packages. I thought they were all gonna come in one box to like save packaging the environment, but I guess not. Where do we begin? Where do we begin? It's a book. Ah! Yesterday I finished reading Book Lovers, so I wanted to get some new books. I go through these hyper fixations with reading where sometimes all I want to do is read and other times I could not care less and I can't get into a book. I could read one page and be like, I'm over this. But I'm currently in my reading hyper fixation era. So I got Beach Read, which is by Emily Henry. So many of you guys recommended this. I will link down below my Amazon storefront. I made a list. There's 135 books of your guys' recommendations and they're like across all different genres. Nonfiction, fiction, cutesy romance novels, murder novels, novels written by psychologists about like your mental health like there's books about everything and this was one of those that you guys recommended to me and when I finished book lovers so many people were like Keegan you need to read each read so I got this I think this also might be a book I got two yes it is ah! I got the summer of broken rules this is by K.L. Walther my friend read this and she said that this is based off hey Steven by Taylor Swift like that inspired this book so of course I wanted to get this and she said there were so many like Taylor Swift references so I was like duh I need to read that so I'm gonna do a little Instagram and poll of which one you guys think I should read first. But both really cute covers. I also want to read The People We Meet on Vacations from Emily Henry because I've heard really great things about that. I don't remember what's in these. I remember one thing, but I don't remember the other thing. Like, I don't know what else it is. What is this? Oh, this is what I thought it was. Okay, I was like so concerned. Just like, I was like, what? Let me just make sure this is what I think it is. Yes, it is. My stovetop is disgusting. I cannot clean it. Like for the life of me, I will scrub like until my elbow hurts and it's just never clean. Clean. I don't know why every time I make pasta the water always bubbles over and then it just like it's like gross So this had the best reviews on Amazon This is the wheelman's glass cooktop cleaner and polisher So it comes with this and then it's little razor blades gosh I just need to clean my stove top. So I got that. I have no idea what's in here Like not even the slightest clue kind of nervous Oh because I got sunburn, I ran out of sun. Oh, these are smaller than I thought they'd be. I got some sunscreen. This is the Sport Ultra SPF 30. And I got a little two-pack because I ran out of sunscreen. And I was like, clearly, clearly I need more sunscreen. So that is my Amazon haul. I'll link all this stuff down below for you guys, as always. I always try to do. I'm not so perfect, but I try. I don't try to be perfect, but I try to do what I say I do. But that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> One of my goals for April is to spend more time outside when it's really nice in Arizona because it's going to heat up soon. The end of this week, it's supposed to get in the 90s. And once it gets in the 90s, then it's going to get in the 100s. And then it's going to get in the 110s. And then it's going to be in the high 110s, close to 120. 118 degrees is not something anybody should have to experience. I wanted to like work outside in the sun today. But since I'm a little sunburned, I figured maybe not my best idea. So I thought I'd go for a little walk around a little park near me. I thought that would be be fun to do so I'm just putting my shoesies on <laughs> and we're gonna go for a little walk I want to do it before the Sun goes down because it's dangerous to be walking alone as a woman when there's no Sun out that is what I'm up to right now we'll see how long this actually lasts like how long the whole me going outside because it's supposed to be like really supposed to be like cloudy tomorrow it's supposedly really windy also I don't know why but the people upstairs keep playing this like thumping bass sound I don't know what they're doing Ugh, I'm just so nosy. I'm always like, I always want to know what my neighbors look like or like the people that live above me or below me. I'm like, who are you? I just love being nosy. Also, I stretched yesterday and I'm going to hopefully stretch when I get home if I can remember. But I'm going to do that. I think I want to listen to like a podcast or something when I'm on my walk so I can have it stack as, as the TikTokers say. Just got back from my walk. It was actually so cold. I wish I would have worn like a jacket and leggings. It's very windy outside, so I was just like, Ooh. Funny story, my friend texted me and she was like, hey, I'm like really stressed about something. Like, can I FaceTime you and like I just need someone to talk to about it? And I was like, yeah, so I called her and she was also on a walk. And I was like, oh my God, I'm on a walk. You're on a walk. She was like, I was gonna ask you to like, come on my walk. <laughs> my oven is on, I'm baking some chicken in the pan. You know how they kind of like bend in the oven? Always scares me. But she's like, I was gonna ask you to come on this walk, but then I got stressed and I was like, all good. We can FaceTime while we're on walks together. So cute. But I am 
starving. I have chicken in the oven, but like I just feel like I need something to eat in the meantime. And I have some strawberries and I was so excited to eat those, but then one of them had mold on them. None of the others did, but one did. And I don't know if that's like okay to eat the rest of them. I threw them away, but like sometimes I will say I do eat the ones. If they don't touch the mold, that's so gross. You know those things that we all do? Maybe not all of us, but like everyone has something that they do that like they don't really want to admit out loud. No, it's maybe mine. I have some carrots. Please tell me these don't have mold on them. Oh, they don't, good. I think I'm gonna need some carrots and ranch while I wait because I'm just so hungry that I feel like I need something to hold me over before dinner. I'm just impatient, what can I say? Good morning, happy Tuesday, everybody. So I'm about to stretch. I really don't wanna do it and that's why I am starting this vlog right now because I don't wanna do it. So I'm gonna procrastinate it for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> One thing that is going on that I'm unsure about, my dad's mom we call her nana but she's like my grandma we call her nana she's in the hospital she's not doing well so i'm gonna go see her tomorrow i haven't seen her in a really long time because if you guys don't know i don't have a relationship with my dad and so i have this rule for me personally where if he's there i will not go so that means that i don't really get to see a lot of my extended family that often because a lot of times he's there and that's a boundary for me that i'm not willing to cross so i'm gonna go see her tomorrow and i haven't seen her in a while and i wanted to print out some photos me like my graduation my travels me moving in this apartment i don't know like things that have happened in between me seeing her last she could have them and see them and then i thought like i could like write on the back like when they happened and what they were but her vision is really bad i don't know if she's going blind but from the sound of it i think she is so i don't know if it's insensitive to bring photos to someone who can't see i don't know how bad her vision is so that's what i'm kind of like i don't know if that's inappropriate or not i think i might still do it and then just like not give them to her if that's the case i mean i thought she would appreciate them but i also am like is that rude if she can't see it like is that just like is it kind of just like insensitive like is it a poor taste you know at first i was like oh it's like a nice thing to do but then i was like okay maybe it's rude you know i don't know but i'm like looking through all my photos right now i want to go back to europe i just can't afford it <laughs> right now <laughs> Okay, update. I just did a little body shower. I'm going to a spin class tonight, so I think I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow because I didn't want to wash it today and then be super sweaty by the end of the day. I love this shirt. It's so comfortable. I think I'm gonna like live in this. I did figure out she can't see. Her vision is getting worse. So I think that I'm going to print out like bigger versions of the photos, like not like the little like, you know, regular like four by six. I think I'm gonna try to get like five by seven or something bigger and then like write really big in the back, make it easier for her to see. But I've been going through my photos and then I have my therapy appointment in 20 minutes. It. And that is what we have going on. I also have a couple emails I need to respond to really quickly though. Do you know in the middle of the night when you're like a little delusional and you have these thoughts and you're like, whoa, that's so deep. Do you wanna hear my thought of last night? Sometimes. I edit videos of me editing a video of me editing a video and right now future me is gonna edit this video and I'm currently editing a video of me editing a video of me editing a video I don't know if that made sense to anyone but like watch me here right pretend that there's another Keegan behind the screen that's gonna be editing this video she's editing me who is editing this video me editing that's a weird clip of me me editing a video and then in this video I'm editing a video inside that video isn't that crazy like I know it's not that insane to think because like all I really do is edit videos these days and I love it so much. I'm editing a video of me editing a video of me editing a video of me editing a video. Like what? You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. I ordered some photos on CVS for my grandma and when I was like signing to my account, it's like, oh, like verify that you're yourself. Like we'll send you a code. And it's like, oh, this code may take one minute. Three hours later, I finally just got the code. <laughs> Just ate lunch, now I'm about to get back to work. I've been filming a what I eat in the day video today. That video is already up. I'm pretty sure, no, I'm 100% positive that video is already up. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to watch it. I always get requests to do like what I eat in the day or what I eat in a week videos. So I'm doing a what I eat in a day. What I eat in a week, something that I struggle with is a lot of you guys say that like the, my little cooking segments are your favorite part of my weekly vlogs, which I love them so much too. But if I do like a what I eat in a week video or something like that, then I can't include the cooking in the vlogs, which is your guys' favorite part of the vlog. So sometimes I try to like balance it and like do a little here, do a little there. So that's why I'm doing the what I eat in a day because you guys requested that. But I thought maybe a day would be better than the whole week. Because I also think being 
uber aware of what you eat every single day of a week is a little too much for what I can handle. But I'm gonna go back to editing my video. Today is one of those days where I will be in an editing hole because this is a really long video, but I'm really liking it so far. So that is what we are up to today. I just ate a chicken pesto tzatziki wrap and some chocolate. I honestly want more chocolate, but I'm trying to tell myself that like I'm not hungry. I just like want to eat it to eat it, but I'm gonna keep working on this video. I've been working on editing my video. I feel like for the past hour, I've been having a hard time focusing on it. Like I'll watch the video and I'll be like, what, I'm not even watching it. Like I'm editing it, but I'm not even like comprehending what I'm watching. I also asked you guys on my Instagram story, which one of these books I should read first. Beach Read was the winner by just a little bit, but so many people swiped up and said like, this is their favorite book they've ever read. So I'm so excited to read both of these. Oh, I also have some Amazon packages that I think are in my package room. So I think I'm gonna go run and go get those. Very excited. Okay, I have something to admit. I did make myself look a little more presentable just in case I ran into my hot neighbor. I did not run into him. I only run into him when I look like trash. Not that I don't look like trash right now. I, I think I look all right. But I only run into him when I'm not looking my best. Okay, side note about my hot neighbor. In my last weekly vlog, I was talking about how I did some stalking. Not like creepy, like needs a restraining order type stalking. Like some light, harmless internet stalking as I do. As you know, the little FBI agent and he's like, you know, like trying to find out every single piece of information about this person. Anyone know how to bypass a private Instagram? If anyone does, let me know. <laughs> but I've did some light internet stalking, very harmless. And I found this photo of him and I've been telling all of my friends about my hot neighbor for months now. Like I always hype this man up and I'm like, he is the literal hottest person I've ever seen on this planet. Like this man is beautiful. And so I finally found a photo of him and I showed it to my friends and I kid you not, all of them, they were like, you're right, he is hot. He's a 10 out of 10. He's so hot. I know nothing about him, like literally nothing about him, but like I, I could marry that man. He's so hot. But I did find out he is a lot older than me, so it probably wouldn't work out. The way that I just like ruined my own little fantasies, I look like this because I was hoping to see my hot neighbor, but haven't ran into him in a while. What a shame. What's the point of having a hot neighbor if you can't regularly see them? I did have one really embarrassing interaction with him. Like the last time I saw him, I was like, oh my God, I'm literally gonna go never show my face in public again because I embarrassed myself so much in front of him. Anyways, I have these Amazon packages. Aw. This says, is everything okay? Why is that so sweet? Like I know that it wasn't like asking about my mental health, but I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, they meant like, is everything okay with the product? I, I figured, but like, I don't know. I was just like, wow, that is so nice. They care. <laughs> so I wanted to get some aloe vera. I think my sunburn is going away pretty nicely, but I was running out of aloe vera. A little tip if you don't know, cause not everyone knows this. Sometimes I'll share like little tips and I'll get comments that's like, everybody knows that. Like that is so obvious. And then the following comment, will be like, oh my God, I did not know that. Like, thanks for sharing. My least favorite kind of people are the people that can't see outside of their own experience. Such a side note, but like those kind of people drive me insane. Little life hack about aloe vera. Always try to find aloe vera that is alcohol and fragrance free. The whole point of aloe vera is like soothe the sunburn or soothe whatever. But if there's alcohol and there's fragrance in it, it's just gonna make it, in my opinion, worse. Like every single time I use aloe vera with alcohol or fragrance or even like artificial colors, I find that I always peel. But when I use, I never used this brand, but this had the highest reviews on Amazon. I'll link this down below. This is a local business grown in Texas. I love when there's like small businesses on Amazon. So, oh, th this is what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know what? <laughs> on Amazon, this said 100% aloe vera. Guess what it says on the bottle? 98.7, which is almost 100, but it's not exactly 100. There's no added water, alcohol free, and no nece unnecessary ingredient. Okay, we're gonna see this. I'm hoping this is clear. Oh, wait, what? Why is this? Is there like a little seal? Yeah, there is. I'm hoping this is clear and there's no like green color to it, because that's how you know there's artificial coloring in it. But. Oh. <laughs> I tried to throw this away, but it stuck to me. It's sunburn season for me. I don't tan, I just straight burn. Yeah, it's see how it's clear. A lot of aloe veras that you buy like at Target, Walmart, something like that will be green. So that's how you know there's artificial coloring. It smells different. It's more watery than gel based. Sorry, is this weird that I'm like, wait here, let me turn around. A little goes a long, oh, they did say to patch test it. I guess my patch is my entire chest. A little goes a long way. This is weird that I'm just like rubbing my chest on camera. Wanted to get some nice aloe vera. And then the last thing that I got, AAA batteries. Because my TV remote 
is no longer working because the battery stopped working. I ordered this last night. I figured that it would probably come in time faster from Amazon than if I were to go to just like Target because Target's kind of far away. And do you ever have a place that I, like it's not that far away, but the drive to get there is so infuriating because there's this Target, the closest Target to me. If I wanted to get there, I have to drive on this road and it has a slow speed limit, but everybody drives slower than the already slow speed limit. And I'm just like sitting there and I'm like, this is so infuriating driving this slow on a main road. Not that I have road rage. Oh my God, this is so many batteries. I got the cheapest pack of batteries that I could find and there's a lot and ow. Gave myself a paper cut. Ow, that really freaking hurt. So that was my Amazon haul. I'll link this stuff down below. I cannot wait to give you a full review on the aloe vera. I'm a big fan of aloe vera. I really want to get an aloe vera plant, but I don't know where I would get one. And I don't know if I could keep it alive because I'm not really great at keeping things alive. I struggle keeping myself alive most of the time. So I'm going to go put some batteries in my remote and hopefully it was the batteries that was the issue with my remote and not the remote itself. We will find out. It worked. I'm so happy that it worked. I wanted to give you guys a little tip that I always do. I'm someone who gets really anxious about being late to places. So I found this thing a while ago and I use it all the time. I don't know if a lot of people know about it. So I use Apple Maps. I know a lot of people are Google Maps people. Google Maps has just screwed me over one too many times. But I'm going to a spin class later tonight with my friend Desiree. It's mainly just an excuse to see her and I get a workout in. It's like a win-win. So I want to go to the spin studio and I always can never remember when I should leave. So I always map myself to the spin studio. I need to figure out what time I need to leave to get there in time. So go to now and then go to arrive by. And then I want to get there at 5.45 and then hit done. And then it tells you what time you should leave at. So I should leave around like 5.30 to get there in time, which is really cool. If you're someone that's always late to places, I highly recommend doing that. Also though, I always like to include like a little five minute buffer period for like parking, traffic. It also takes me a minute because I live in apartments like get to my parking garage and get out of my parking garage. So I always add like a little five minute buffer because I'd rather be early and waste my own time than be late and waste someone else's. That is my motto for life, especially when it comes to timing. So I'm gonna start getting ready for the spin class. Yay! I'm feeling a little triggered right now. One of my least favorite people on this entire planet just popped up on my For You page. I didn't need to see that. I didn't need to see that reminder of that person that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> it was my sister's ex-boyfriend from high school who sent the meanest girl in my grade embarrassing photos of me So she and all of her friends could make fun of me Yeah, triggered. I didn't need that on my Tuesday. I was having a good I was having a great day until I saw him. I'm gonna go to my spin class. See ya Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. We are starting off the day by running a little errand. So I ordered those photos for my grandma yesterday and I forgot to pick them up. So we're gonna run by CVS really quickly and get them. I forgot what location I ordered them at though. So we need to double check that. Got it. Not me putting it in my GPS. I need a GPS to get everywhere. It's just who I am, but good morning. Ready to start the day off. Ooh, my Apple watch just buzzed. Ooh, I also showered. I feel like a fresh woman. Did a little detox shampoo. I love washing my hair now. Actually, you know what? I hate washing my hair, but I love the feeling of having washed hair. That's my consensus. I just realized that I cut the four by six, which is exactly what I didn't mean to get. Oops. Whatever. Anyways, I got these photos. I hope that she can see them. I need to stop going to this CVS location because they print them out horribly. Like these are so washed out. The other CVS doesn't do this. Like these look so bad. <laughs> like it's just so, you can't really see it on camera, but they're so washed out. Like this one, I can barely see it. How is someone whose vision is deteriorating gonna see it? That sounds so, I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm going to write with like a big Sharpie and big letters, like all these things, like Keegan's graduation, May 2022. 
Deacon and Grace, June 2022, stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just finished that. I hope that my handwriting is like big enough for her to read it. Now, I'm going to blow dry my hair. I'm going to take some photos of me in like the t-shirt merch. So I don't have any of that. So I just need to get ready for that. And then I've been like kind of editing a video all day, but like not really. So we're gonna start getting ready though. We are doing a very light beat today. Also, I think my camera battery is about to die because it did just die when I was doing my hair and I didn't get a new battery. So we're gonna see. Also, I didn't dampen this. So we're gonna, we're just gonna see. It did in fact die. We're back, back and better than ever. Am I right? Just doing a little light beat. Mainly just, oh, is my head not gonna match my butt? Okay. Is my head not gonna match my neck? We'll see. I've really been liking my hair with a Dyson. When I feel like I get my routine or like my method down, I will share it with you guys. But until then, I'm not going to because it's not that great. Look at the volume. <laughs> I have like very stick straight hair. Whenever there's like movement in it, I'm like, wow. Who is she? I use a Makeup by Mario foundation. And then the NARS, I can never remember the name of this, the soft matte concealer. We're gonna do Kosas under my eyes, just a wee bit. We're wee and we're bidding. <laughs> this is the Real Techniques body sponge. This is like the normal size of it. It's not even damp right now. It gets like half the size of my face when it's damp. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a contour. I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna set our face. Oh no, there's powder everywhere in this. I'm using these little like makeup sponge things. I'll link these down below. I'll link all the makeup and everything that I'm using down below for you guys. I'm kind of just trying to do something very subtle, but I'm gonna add some like powder products. I don't want to do a full beat. Just not in the mood for that today. My skin is not perfect, but I feel like it's gotten so much better and I'm really happy with the fact that it's been improving so much. But I mean, again, not perfect, but will it ever be? Well, he was close to perfect when my skin was good from Accutane. I'm using Hoola Light, which is just like the regular Benefit Hoola bronzer, but it's just a little bit lighter and like a little bit more cool toned. So if you're pale girly, this is great. This is my like all-time favorite blush. It's Watermelon by Laura Mercier. I just think it's so beautiful. It's just so, do you see that? I don't know. I just feel like it looks really good with my skin tone. Oh, I got my face dermaplaned when I got a facial last weekend. I've been going to an esthetician to help with my skin. And the, basically dermaplaning is like shaving the hair off of your face, like all the peach fuzz. Makeup sits on it a lot nicer, but like sometimes when you use a brush, it's like, ow, like your skin is raw almost. I'm gonna add a little highlighter, why not? We're gonna do Rare Beauty. What is this one in? <sighs> See, I love these. These are amazing, but opening them is so hard that I broke it because it's just hard to open. I know that Selena tried to make these more accessible for people with disabilities because she has lupus and she tried to make her products easier to open, but this is not easy to open. And I love Selena. This is no slander to Selena. Always a Selena girly, but these are hard to open. I hope they redo the packaging. I damaged the product like the second time I used it because it was just so hard to open. And I wasn't being dramatic about it either. I'm gonna not fill my brows today. I'm going to use the Grande brow two-in-one tinted brow gel and brow enhancing serum i use this like a couple times and i always get compliments on my eyebrows whenever i use it i feel like it just kind of makes them look like fuller do i look crazy granted this is a little bit darker than my natural eyebrows so that could be why but i have to be honest i've always loved dark eyebrows with blonde hair something about it i'm gonna brush those out kind of get them into shape because i feel like it's intimidating to do that when you have like a bunch of like tinted brow serum or gel on the brush there we go. Oh, they look a little, they look a little, I feel like when I do my eyelashes, that kind of balances it out. So we're going to curl my lashes. This is quite literally like a five minute makeup routine. I feel like it takes longer when I talk to the camera because I get distracted so easily. I feel like I need a little bit more brow gel on the outer edge of this eyebrow. Beautiful. You already know the drill. L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. It's so good. And I'm not doing any eyeshadow or anything like that today, which I feel like I normally do. just want a very natural look. See, I feel like this eyebrow doesn't look as crazy. Well, it's still a little crazy. A little crazy, never hurt nobody. Well, actually, maybe a little crazy have hurt people. Who knows? I always use a different mascara on my lower lashes because that one smudges for me. So this is Sky High. And I always do a brown waterproof mascara on my lower lashes. This one is like very dried up. I have a clump on my lower lash. So I'm going to take, do I even have it? I have this like little brush that I used to brush through my eyelashes. We're going to try the spoolie. That actually works. Oh, nah. 
a little bit. Last up, we're gonna do a little lip tint. I have two options, play tint or Benetint. We're gonna go Benetint. I've also been listening to Kelsey Ballerini. I've always liked her and her music, but I've never like really streamed it. I've always like listened to it on like TikTok or on the radio or like if someone else is playing, but I've never streamed it on my own. But I saw her hosting what's at the CMT Awards. I really have so much respect for her. Like talking about the school shootings and, and bringing drag queens on stage with her. So I wanted to support her and stream her music. And I'm finding new songs and I'm like, wow, I really like her music. So yeah, surprise, surprise, I listen to people other than Taylor Swift. Who would have thought? Not me. Part of me does think I may need like a little eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this brush. I don't even know if there's any product on it. Like I'm not gonna pick any product up. Just use what's ever on the brush and just kind of run that through my crease just for some dimension. My face doesn't look so flat. Or my eyes. Okay, the beat is done. This is the hair, the makeup, what do we think? I feel like I look a little ghostly. I feel like the finishing touch is always more blush. And also, chapstick. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to take some photos for my merch. And what I'm literally gonna do is move my desk ah! and use that white wall. Love! Okay, update. So I just took those photos. I wanted to take them on my Canon G7X, but it's just hard with that camera sometimes. Like the photos just weren't turning out, so I decided to do it on my phone. I need to go through the photos, choose them, edit them. And then I also just filmed an intro and outro for my What I Eat In Day video. And then I shared all of my merch <laughs> that I'm launching. I need to do a bunch of stuff to prepare for that. I feel like I'm running out of time. I feel like this week is going by too fast. I have a lot to do in a little time. So I'm gonna start doing stuff, but I also changed into this bodysuit from Abercrombie. <laughs> when I was filming the intro and outro for my What I Eat in a Day, this is literally what you are not seeing. This is unbuttoned. And then I also have my biker shorts rolled down because you could literally see in the clip like that. Like, like this is what you could see in the clip. And I was just like, okay, why does it look like I'm wearing a diaper? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to start doing some work. My 80th outfit change of the day. My toxic trait is that I'm gonna leave my apartment like this for way too long because I'm too lazy to move it back, even though it'll take not even 10 minutes. Lazy. Ugh. Those noises that I make, just letting you know, I inherited that from my mom. My mother does that all the time. The <laughs> Instead of my mom cursing out cars when I was younger, she'd go, <laughs> that was her version of road rage. Anyways, I am so starving yeah. also the photos really did not turn out that well which was disappointing i initially bought that backdrop if you remember but it didn't come with the poles and i was like oh i can just use that white wall no i think i'm gonna buy a backdrop with like the poles to hold it up just because the lighting isn't that great and i think that if i was facing the window it'd be better i don't know just little things they didn't turn out as professional as i was hoping for them to be but i don't have time to redo it okay we're making food i think it what did i just step on ew I need a vacuum. I think I'm gonna make that chicken tzatziki wrap. I made it in my what I eat in a day video and I have like a bunch of leftover wrapped chicken. I am starving though. I could scream. I'm so hungry. I might scream. Screaming does sound nice. I am a mess. Also what you can't see, just a mess. This isn't just me being real guys. You know, every once in a while, I'm like, do I show how disgusting, this isn't disgusting, this is just kind of like chaotic. But I'm like, do I show this stuff or do I pretend to be put together? And then I'm like, no one's gonna believe I'm put together. Might as well be real about it. If you guys want me to fake that I have my life together, I can. I don't know how good I'll be at it. Heating up my tortilla. I wonder how many times I've said in my vlogs that I'm heating up a freaking tortilla. So I just sent over the photos to the merch company if they wanted to put them on the website with a t-shirt. They didn't turn out that great, so I don't know if they're going to. And then I had a couple questions about like pricing and sizes and everything for the t-shirts. And then I need to make all of the Instagram stories and stuff telling you guys about it because it's a lot of information. And it's not like, oh, I'm just like launching these sweatshirts. It's like, oh, I'm also restocking this. And then we're adding this as well. And then here's the price point and here's how long, like there's just so much to it. And then I also have to do the Instagram post. There's a bunch of stuff that I have to do. It's like 20 different thousand platforms and then i also have to edit my what i eat in a day video do you know when you have like a to-do list in your mind and it's just never ending that is mine i think i'm going to get my daily to-do list out or even my everything to-do list link down below and then just make like a list of every single thing that i need to do for it sometimes i find that when i'm really stressed i like to make a separate to-do list of like just the task for that thing at hand so like for this it's like prepping for my merch launch if i have a lot of things to do in one day i kind of like to just tell 
tunnel vision for the stuff that I need to do in that day. So I avoid my weekly to-do list when it comes to that kind of stuff. Just so I don't get overwhelmed by all the stuff I have going on and I can just focus on what I have at hand. That's why I like having several to-do lists. That's why I made multiple and not just the weekly. In case you cared, I don't know if you do. But if you do care, I'm grateful that you care. Most of the time when I make this wrap, I will like prepare it in a bowl and like kind of mix all of the stuff together. I'm not doing that today. I'm too hungry. So we're going the lazy route and we're just going to put it all on and hope it tastes good. I'm curious if it does because it would save me a lot of dishes. And you know me, I hate cleaning dishes. Well, if you don't know, I do hate cleaning dishes. I will link the recipe for this down below. It's a, oh gosh, half to bake heart. That girl on TikTok, do you know her? She's great. I love her recipes. Mm. Oh, falling apart. Shouldn't have cut it in the center. I'm about to leave for the hospital. It is like in the middle of the day because this is when my sister gets off work, but I have like hours more to do. And it's gonna be like an hour drive for me, which is fine. Wait, I'm just touching up these pieces of my hair. Ah! Wrong way. Abercrombie Levi's. I wanted to wear like an appropriate outfit for the hospital. I always cold shock this with the very end, blow it with cold air to kind of like hold its shape. But again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Oh, it's in my mouth. Okay. And I'm just going to let it sit like that for a while until it is all the way done cooling down. I made the to-do list of everything that I needed to do. It was an entire page of stuff. <sighs> okay. I'm a little panicky but this is a priority and that's okay. Woo! Someone in my apartment building is smoking weed because my apartment smells like weed. <laughs> okay, so we are off to go to the hospital. It's kind of a far drive for me. Brought a mask because hospital and I have the photos in my purse. Didn't want to forget that. Think we have everything. No water in there. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, do you know when you wear jeans and you sit and then they just kind of, you know, mm -mm. Let's map it. Probably gonna be a little early because I'm always early. I think I'm gonna play some Kelsey Ballerino. Kelsey Ballerino. I've been really obsessed with her. I'm gonna be really early. Okay, I just got out of the hospital. Saw my grandma. She's doing a lot better apparently, so I'm happy to hear that. I met my dad's fiance. If you guys don't know, I haven't talked to my dad since I was 18. I went no contact with him and I met his fiance for the first time and it was really awkward. She really liked the photos, my aunt grandma, so I'm really happy about that. We were like talking about like all the places I went and it was really cool. I had a good time and I'm glad I got to see her. But now we're going to drive home. I'm also starving, so I'm like trying to decide if I want to get some fast food or if I want to just eat food at home. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna include this in the vlog, but I'm just gonna talk out how I feel and if I, I'm like literally, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I'm like actually shaking. I feel so triggered. I feel so much progress that I made has regressed. I like literally wanna cry right now. Like I said, when I went to the hospital, my dad's fiance was there. I had never met her before. I haven't really like gone into my daddy issues with you guys, but I haven't talked to my dad in five years. When I was 18, I cut off all contact with him and I have made it such an intentional effort to not be in the same room as him. Make sure that he doesn't know any intimate personal details about my life. And like, yes, I do put my entire life on the internet, but like he never cared about me enough to actually watch my videos when I still talk to him. So and I don't think he watches these now. But like, aside from like the stuff that I post online, like personal information about me, I have made it the most intentional effort of my life that he will never get the privilege to know any of that stuff. And being in that room, you know, talking to my grandma, telling her stuff about my life, about my job, about my home, about stuff that like goes on in my life and the fact that his fiance was there and like I just know that she's gonna tell him all of it and I'm so mad at myself because I wish I would have asked her to be like, hey, don't tell him this, but even if I did, I doubt she would respect that. <sighs> I just feel like five years worth of like healing and progress that I made. Oh God, I'm like literally about to cry. It's just like reversed. I don't even know if I should be sharing this kind of stuff on the internet. This is really personal and I feel like people that don't understand what this is like can be kind of harsh about stuff like this. Like when I talk to friends or people about my family who don't have a relationship with one of their parents or family members like this or they didn't have to go no contact with their parents. I feel like a lot of people don't get it and a lot of people are really judgmental. So maybe I shouldn't be talking about this on the internet. Ugh. 
But then I also like combat myself. It's like, you know, I briefly talked about how I caught off contact with my dad and I got a lot of comments from people saying that it was very comforting knowing that they're not alone with this. So maybe I should, I don't know. I just feel so, so angry. Oh my God, there's like literally a booger coming out of my nose. That's so embarrassing. God, I wish I had my therapy appointment. I already had it this week. I don't want to wait until Tuesday. I just feel like a boundary that I set has just been crossed and it's so hard. Like, ugh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way. I have some chocolate right here. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'm just like so upset like I know that my dad is now gonna like see those photos and like that I printed out for my <laughs> I'm so upset. It's 5 20 right now I'm gonna keep editing my video because I probably still like three four more hours for the work to do. I feel so triggered Okay, sorry. This is like maybe a little too personal to post on the internet Currently 7 30. I'm starving. Remember how I was saying how I was gonna like overwork myself today and like work until 9 p.m. No not doing that. Not in the mental head space for it. I'll overwork myself tomorrow because I really don't have a choice because I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. This week has gone by really fast. Also, I feel like I have a bug bite. How did I get a bug bite like up here? Did a bug literally fly up my pants? Anyways, I need to make food. I wanted to go get food, but I feel like it'll be faster to make something, which is unfortunate because I would love to get takeout right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna make salmon. I made this last night. I made it my what I eat in a week video. Okay, I need to, I need to do this. Oh, got rice everywhere. That was maybe not my best idea. The rice is sticking to me. I get so paranoid about salmon vanilla. Bone apple teeth, ha 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 ha. So the literal last thing that I wanna do right now is move my dining room and desk back to where it is. But because I'm pushing everything off until tomorrow, cause I am just great like that, I feel like maybe I should do that so I can be prepared for tomorrow. And like, it's just one less thing that I'll have to do. I don't wanna do it at all, but I'm like, it might be easier <laughs> to do it now. It might save me some time. Because I know if I have to move this desk tomorrow, I'm gonna to procrastinate it. And then I'm gonna procrastinate everything. And I can't afford to do that if I'm doing that right now. <laughs> so let's move this. I feel so bad for the people that live below me that have to hear me move this. That's why I don't wanna do it too late at night. Oh, it's really not that loud. It's very quiet. And now the dining room table, which I think the dining room table is what's loud. Yeah. I do have the mirror that goes here, but I think that I'm just going to do that another day because it's not really important. I saw my sister today when I was at the hospital and I always get PR sent to my parents' house and so she was nice enough to bring it to me. And she also said that I could keep this bag, which is very nice because I don't have a reusable grocery bag, so I'm happy that I have one now. So these are my PR hauls. Oh, I should get some scissors. I'm gonna start with the one that I'm the most excited about. This is Rare Beauty. I am praying that these are the lip oils. Been seeing everybody talk about them. Ah! I think it is. I think it is. <gasps> yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Alive with color. Thank you so much for your beauty. I like, I've been seeing everyone talk about these on TikTok and I've been dying to try them. <gasps> oh, they're so beautiful. I love like everything that I've tried from Rare Beauty. I love Selena Gomez. Oh, Selena's in this so pretty. I still feel like always in shock whenever I get PR. Like it's a pinch me kind of moment. If we try it on, I'm gonna do hope. Like this never feels real. Like I feel like this is like, I mean, everything with this job is insane. Like, I can't believe that like I have you got like I get to talk to you guys all the time and that like this is my life. Ooh, mmm, mmm. Okay, it doesn't taste good. I will say that. Okay, it tastes very bad. I think I actually ate more of it. Glides very nicely. Obviously, it's not meant for eating. It's very smooth. I really am excited to try out these colors. More. Thank you so much for me. This is months of stuff, by the way. I don't get like PR like a lot of the a lot of the influencers, the TikTokers. I'm very like blown away every time I do get a package. This is from Pixie. Skin treats in shower steam facial. Okay. Oh. So they have an in shower steam facial product. They gave me a towel. Thank you so much, Pixie. ASU sent me 
a magazine. Oh, that's nice. Um, I donated to a domestic violence shelter and they sent me like a little card. Another. Uh, I'm probably gonna get like endless spam mail from this domestic violence shelter. I literally had a more from the domestic violence shelter. I literally had to like unsubscribe from the emails because they sent me so many. They yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna get oh my gosh, another thing from the domestic violence shelter. I donated once and I they're probably gonna spend more money on mailing me stuff than I donate. No, I'm just kidding, that's a joke. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. So when I was in my sorority, this was a domestic violence shoulder that we worked with and they, a lot of stuff that you do is they work with kids. Hello Keegan, thank you so much for your gift of X amount of money that you made to, it's called a new leaf, on this day to help families and change lives. We deeply appreciate you. That is so cute. So this is one of the kids. I'm gonna put this on my fridge. This is so cute. I think I volunteered there a few times. This is a bank thing. Oh. I donated to the Los Angeles Society for Prevention of Cruelty Animals. When my friend's dog died, I donated to this in her dog's name. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna show this to you, but they made, they sent me a bunch of like return addresses, like stickers for return addresses, and it has like dogs on it. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then it comes with mail too. I would show this to you guys, but it has my address. See, it's like my address is there. These are like little stickers and they have dogs. That is adorable. Guys, donate to charities. They send you lots of stuff. Ooh, Too Faced. <gasps> Hi, gorgeous. Thinking of you and wanted to send you one of our favorite products. Oh my gosh, they sent the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Thank you so much, Too Faced. We got another package. <gasps> is this, no way. I don't think I've ever gotten PR from them. <gasps> The Living Proof Advanced Dry Shampoo and the Perfect Hair Dry Shampoo? No way. I love Living Proof and I've never gotten PR from them. Thank you so much, Living Proof. Oh, this is a card. Oh, it was a birthday card. Target gift card, thanks. I think this probably goes with it. A little cute bag. Thank you so much. Okay, last thing in here is from Pixie as well. This is Skin Treats. Oh, this is a Restore and Replenish. Oh, there's eye patches in here. Oh, I don't want to unseal it just in case I decide to put this in a giveaway. But thank you so much to Pixie. Thank you so much to Rare Beauty, Living Proof, Too Faced, all the places I donated to my family. Thank you, everybody. Wow, I feel so loved. I'm so excited about all of this. I can't wait. Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. I woke up in the most excruciating pain. I feel like I'm falling apart. My lower back hurts so bad and my calves, this is very random. They're so freaking tight. I don't know what I did, but like I woke up, my legs just hurt. <laughs> my calves just hurt. Like I was, I hadn't even gotten out of bed and I just woke up and I was like, ow. Like every time I move my back, my legs, like I just, I'm sore and even bending over really hurts. One thing that I'm really happy about though is my trainer. I do, I always talk about this small group, like weight, weight training classes and it's ran through like an individual person, like a trainer rather than like a studio or a gym or something. She was like, hey guys, I'm not feeling so well. Not happy that she's not feeling well because I obviously want her to feel well, but she like canceled the session for today, which was a great thing because I just don't feel well. Like I'm in pain. I wonder if I had bad form when I was doing deadlifts yesterday and that's why my lower back hurts, but it didn't hurt at all yesterday. I don't know why my calves hurt. I don't know why I'm in like so much pain, but it is 11 a.m. right now. I'm not kidding. I woke up, saw the text that she canceled it. Also a guy drunk texted me last night and I was like, that gave me an ick. A guy that I don't even talk to. I was like, ew, leave me alone. So I saw those text messages and I was like, I'm going back to bed. So I went back to bed for a little bit, but I couldn't really fall back asleep. I had a nightmare about a person that I hated. I don't know why people that I dislike are really just popping into my mind living in rent free this week. Like, please stop. But where was I going with that? <laughs> oh, and then I grabbed my computer and I've been in bed since I woke up and I just finished editing my What I Eat in a Week video. The video is currently exporting and I was so hungry when I was editing it, but I, so I, like the entire video was based around food. But I was like, no, I like don't want to get up. I just want to finish editing this video and I'll make my bagel. Sometimes I swear I screw this thing on so freaking tight. Oh, thank God. Whew. Ow, I like was using my stomach as like a way to like stabilize it and I like really like dug it into my stomach. I'm just dying. No, I'm not. Maybe that's insensitive to say. I was just at a hospital yesterday. Sometimes I say things and I'm like, that just came off so much more insensitive than I meant for it to be. It meant to be a joke. <laughs> the people that get my sense of humor like it, but some people just really don't get it because it's very sarcastic and 
kind of dry sense of humor. I feel like I cope with certain things with humor and so sometimes it's just not the most like appropriate humor. Oh, I just saw this again, the little thank you note. Okay, I have to look at my Stanley. <gasps> Do you guys want, oh my gosh, I was thinking about this the other night, like all the pros and cons of a Stanley and versus a Hydro Flask, which is what I had before. I'm gonna give you a Stanley review once I fill this up, okay? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I was telling people my thoughts on the Stanley and the Stanley lovers were coming from my throat. Don't be offended. It's just a water bottle. Don't take it so personally, okay? Stanley versus Hydro Flask. Commence. 40 ounce Stanley, 40 ounce Hydro Flask. I'm gonna be honest, I like the Hydro Flask more, but I'm gonna keep using the Stanley. The reason I got the Stanley was because this like lid and like straw, I had this since 2019 and I think this is broken. I probably could have easily gotten a different lid and straw, but I wanted to try the Stanley because everyone was raving about it and I like the Hydro Flask more. So I'm just gonna go over the pros and cons of these in my opinion. If you don't care, totally skip this part, not offended. But if you were thinking about getting one of these, here's my thoughts on this. Number one, this is significantly heavy than the Hydro Flask. Like when these are both full, the Stanley weighs a lot more than the Hydro Flask. I think it's just the way that it's shaped with the handle. This feels a lot lighter even though it's the same size, same amount of water. I do like that this can fit into a cup holder, how it kind of is skinny at the bottom, whereas this one can't. I actually had to buy like a cup holder extender. Wait, I'm thirsty, give me a second. But if I didn't buy the cup holder extender, this would be rolling around my car. This spills like crazy. You knock it over, it spills. I've heard the simple human one or the simple modern one doesn't spill as much. I would check that out if they're in stock because I've also heard they are cheaper than these. This one doesn't spill. I feel very mixed opinions about the handle because I like the handle in concept, but I always held my Hydro Flask with my pinky like this. And I feel like I could hold more things in my hands. Like I could, you know, that. With this, you can really only hold this in your hand. Very random, I know. I like that this has a wider mouth to it. Like the opening of this is a lot wider than the opening of this. So I can fit a lot more ice into it. Like this, I'd have to like plop individual pieces of ice in it. And this I can do like chunks of ice. This does not hold as much water, okay? Here's my thoughts on this. This does not keep water as cold as my Hydro Flask does. This is a hill I'm willing to die on. If I fill this up with water and ice at night, same as this, in the morning, this one will still have ice in it. This one, the ice will be melted for me every single time. I also feel like I need more ice in this to keep my water cold, which means I can't fill up as much water. If you guys remember, I was filling up my water bottles with my half gallon water bottle. I was just like transferring the water in there. This one held more water than this one. Also, another thing is because the lip is so wide, when I fill it up in my fridge, I have to like angle it. And so there's like this much space on the top that's not filled up with water because the way they have to like angle it so it doesn't spill over. Overall, the reason that I like my Hydro Flask more is because it keeps the water colder and I can fit more water in there because I don't need as much ice and then it fills all the way to the top. So that's the main reason that I like the Hydro Flask. I also don't really love this though. Like I like that you can close this so it doesn't spill, but I feel like this kind of just like collects a lot of bacteria. Like I feel like my Hydro Flask was always a little bit dirtier than my Stanley, but I will say I like that the Stanley is trendy. I don't like how people will like come for you when you want to be trendy, when you want to be on trend. They'll be like, oh, you're so superficial. You just care about trends. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be like in the know or in the loop or, you know, having cool things. Like there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. And if that's what you don't want to do, then you don't have to do it. Like everyone should just enjoy the things that they enjoy and we should stop judging people for doing what they want to do with their lives and what they want to do with their money. But I do like that this is trendy. I feel like cool having it. Like I feel like, you know, cool. Like I'm just another basic girly and I love being a basic girly. That's who I am. Overall, if you don't have either of these and you're wanting to get one and you don't care about the trends, get the Hydro Flask. More water, keeps it colder, it doesn't spill. But if you want to be trendy and you like how this fits in your cup holder, Get this one. So that's my review. <laughs> in case anyone cared, I was like really thinking like hard about this the other night. Like I was lying in bed and I was like, oh, this one has a lot more bacteria, I feel like, because it closes and opens and this one. Then. And then I was thinking about like the brim, like the opening of it. I, I really thought it through. I really did. They both have very aesthetic colors too. So their aesthetics are a 10 out of 10. But I'm gonna make a bagel because I'm so hungry. Because I've been talking forever. And that's that. This is my hair one day after doing the Dyson. I feel like obviously it didn't hold my blowout, but like there's still like a, you know, it kind of goes out like that like i feel like it still looks nice 
So not mad about it. Okay, so change of plans. I <laughs> don't have any cream cheese. So I have a to-do list order that I need to drop off at the post office that I was planning on dropping off after my workout, but obviously my workout was canceled. I mean, it's being dropped off like two hours later, which is fine. I thought I would take this to the post office. On my way home from the post office, go to the grocery store and get some cream cheese. I also need Ziploc baggies. Do you guys want to hear this tip that I have? I love this tip. I think this is such a great thing. So I have on my home screen, like on my phone, obviously on my phone, like obviously like all of these pages, the very first screen, I have a widget of reminders. And this is just like a brain dump of things that I either need to buy, need to do. So like I ran out of Ziploc baggies. There's no way that if I like went to Target or something, I would have remembered Ziploc baggies. So when I write in here, every time I go to the store, I'm like, oh yeah, I need that. Or sometimes I'll write like certain things that I remember like, oh, I need to email this person back. And it'll be like the middle of the night and I'm not going to do it. So like, I'll write it down so I don't forget it. So putting like a little widget of reminders. So it's like a little digital to-do list almost of uh, just like random stuff. Kind of like a brain dump is a great tip that I have. And it saved me so many times. Like every time I go to the grocery store or Target or any store, I like always look over it. Anytime I'm planning out my week, I always look over that too to see like, oh, like what do I want to do? That's just a little tip, but I'm starving. So I need to stop yabbing and go because I'm hungry. Ah! No, just kidding. Why my face looks so funny from that? <laughs> Doesn't even look like a face. I got some more stuff than I anticipated. <laughs> Let's do a haul. If you hear like a grumbling sound, it may or may not be my stomach growling. I decided to get a bagel from the baker at the grocery store. I got it this weekend and I really liked it. It's a cheese bagel and it's huge. And just since I'm having an off day, I'm about to treat myself. It was less than a dollar. Gallon Ziploc baggies. I also got some Honey Nut Cheerios. I think these are nice to have on hand. And then the whole reason I went to the grocery store was for cream cheese and they didn't have the big cream cheese things. Like these are small. I don't think they're like double the size of this, which is like where the big cream cheese is at. But I'm gonna eat my bagel because I'm starving. I need food. Oh my gosh, like I feel like I'm gonna like pass out how hungry I am. You're like, that's so dramatic. No, that's not drama. That's me being serious for once in my life. I am known to have a little bit of drama, but this isn't drama. I'm not gonna toast this because I found out over the weekend when I tried this bagel, it's too big for my toaster. It doesn't fit in it. Ooh, see, there's like a cheese center. Do you see the cheese in the center? It's so yum. I'm gonna eat this bagel. <laughs> I've done a bunch of work, but I'm currently trying to find my black crew neck so i want to film like a little tiktok clip of me introducing the merch to you guys but i don't know where it is i've spent like 20 minutes trying to find it and i don't know where i put it like i've checked every single room in my apartment check my bathrooms my laundry baskets like i have no idea where this could be it's not in the bathtub i mean i didn't think it was going to be but i have no idea where i put it like literally no clue like did i hang it back up i know i was oh it's right here okay well problem solved Ugh, so now i'm gonna film like a little tiktok clip of me introducing my merch to you guys okay you guys it's later in the night it's almost 10 p.m but i just made a single serve cookie it actually made two cookies but then i ate the amount of dough that you would have made for the other one i just had to show you isn't it beautiful i was gonna be done vlogging for the night but i was like this is stunning <laughs> i just had to show you <gasps> look at her i got some chocolate chunks from trader joe's i wish there was like another one right there but like oh it's beautiful it's a little doughy on the inside but oh it kind of looks like a heart do you see it anyways i was just so excited about my cookie <laughs> I had to show you. Okay, good night. It is hours later. I just finished editing my weekly vlog. This one is almost an hour and 30 minutes. So this one's taking me a while. And I will say I've been procrastinating it for a while, but I finally finished it. This vlog gives me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> My merch launches in less than 30 minutes. I'm so excited. I'm just, oh gosh, I have so much to do on this to-do list. Or like not really so much to do, but everything that I need to do is like kind of time consuming. Anyways, as Lizzo once said, <laughs> I'm just chilling, just working from bed. That's the best part. I get to be here in my bed. This thing is so comfortable. I never want to leave my bed. Oh, I was like, I have something to do. I just remember what I have to do. Okay. I'm kind of out of it today. Like my mind is just like not really working. Maybe it's because I'm in my bed, but my brain is not functioning.
I'm now just getting around to washing my face for the morning, but I wanted to give you guys a skin update because I am so happy with it. Like, I feel like my skin has improved so much. So I just washed it and all I have on my face is like a serum. So there's nothing with coverage or anything. I mean, obviously there's scarring left over and a few tiny active breakouts. Now that I'm like zooming out, I'm like, okay, it's not as great. But like, I feel like it's just improved so much. I'm so happy with what it is now versus what it was. Because if you guys remember what it was. But I'm just moisturizing my face, getting ready for the day. My my friend after she gets off work we're planning on going to the mall i don't know if i'm gonna vlog that because i feel like friday nights so i just kind of keep to myself but we're gonna go to the mall and get dinner afterwards so that's kind of my plan for the day it's warm enough to like lay by the pool outside but it's super overcast and like cloudy so it's just <sighs> not worth it okay it is noon i'm now posting all of the stories of the merch Woo! I wonder if anyone's gonna buy it. I hope so. My ears are like ringing. I don't know why. <sighs> I guess there's no really way of telling if someone's on the website or not because I'm not in charge of the website. But I'm just posting all the stories, letting you guys know. Ah! Hello, so we are heading to the post office. I have two to-do list orders to drop off and then I don't really want to, but I'm like, I might as well go return this thinking. To Amazon which I was trying to return earlier this week but then I was like too lazy to do it but I'm like you know what I should just do it I have work to do that I'm procrastinating that's literally what's going on here is I'm like I don't really want to do it until Sunday until like the last possible second that it needs to be done that's literally what's going on here and that's why I'm well I mean I needed to go to the post office anyways to drop off these two list orders but I think that's why I'm gonna go return that because I just want to procrastinate <laughs> Yay, procrastinating! Woo! <laughs> Just kidding. Not really, but like, you know what I mean. This might have possibly been the worst idea I've ever had because there is literally so much construction. Like, they've closed off almost every single road. Oh, God. And no one, like, lets you over. Everyone's so mean. If you don't let me over, literally, you're gonna hit me. Thank you. God bless. But seriously, like, they, there's so much construction that every single road is closed off. I've been on, like, a mile stretch of a road for, like, 20 minutes now. This is just annoying. They always do it and there I don't even see anybody working So I don't know why they have these like roads closed. I'm sure there's a reason that I just don't know but god. It's annoying I wish I would have taken like a different road or something. I wish I would have known about this. What is going on here? This is like a three-lane road that they like close down into a one-lane road and it's like the busiest road in the entire city And I don't see any construction going on. So I'm like, what's going on here guys? But yeah, I haven't moved in a while. All we do is like inch a little bit <laughs> So this was an Amazon return and typically with Amazon returns there's like a person that will help you But now they have this machine that will do it for you and you just have to like use the machine And there was like a long line of all of us because it was clearly a new thing No one had used it before and we were all like The girl in front of me was really struggling. I thought it was pretty self-explanatory, but eh. <laughs> Who knows but finally got that done now I get to go home and deal with all the traffic on the way back, which I'm not looking forward to